every relationship has a fixed directional flow. A fixed directional flow. Yogi Bhajan, the mountain can't be 20,000 feet today and 10,000 feet tomorrow. And every relationship's going off the rails. Who's, in, who's the giver, who's the taker, who's in charge? What's both of us, it's even. Can't happen. You can't have two people drive a car. It's different, different levels. You bring me a glass of water, I'm taking a glass of water, right? Who, who, who's, who's paying for the glass? You know, who, 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 you know, who's holding? So you, you have to do the three levels. It's, it's, it's environmental, circumstantial, personal, and universal. Three levels, and they're all kind of simultaneous, so you have to get sorted out. But, you know, we try to explain it. You can't have both people drive the car. There's one driver. Now the driver has more responsibilities than the passenger. He has to do more things. Right? He can talk, he can eat, he can sing with the music, he can do lots of things, but he can't fall asleep. But he has to also steer and watch the brakes and acceleration, has more responsibilities. So you have to understand where you are in the relationship. So this is, this is, and Gurjaz came up with this, I think it's very useful. If you think one position is better than the other, that will create a subconscious block and you won't be able to see it. No, it, it's, it's, you, you walk into the room, <clears throat> I, I look at you, I can, should be able to tell, right? Maybe a, a few minutes. But you, you should be able to figure it out almost instantaneously. It's almost a certain height, right? I mean, I walk in the room, it, I have white skin or black skin. It, it's not, it's clear. There's not a debate in your mind. And it's not like, well, sometimes it's black, sometimes it's white. No, so, so th this is, we'll, we'll get, we'll work on it. But that's, that's one notion. And then the other notion is that, you know, what are you looking to have a bigger experience of? Okay, so anyway. <laughs> It has to be a determined flow. Who is the lover and who is the beloved? Who gives whom? That should give who enjoys an infinity of giving, that should take who enjoys an infinity of taking. It has got nothing to do with sex, position, time and space. You know those relationships somewhere you just like to be. It makes you happy to be. And if you give and the other person refuses, it hurts you. And somewhere you like to take. And if you can't take, it really hassles you. But the problem in this whole belittlement of our limited world is we are not honest about it. One person in the relationship that's the giver, and one person in the relationship that's a taker. Now, a lot of people say when they first hear that, they wonder, well, we're, both, we're all giving at the same time. Sometimes we're giving, sometimes we're taking, sometimes it's her, sometimes it's me, right? And everyone's trying to figure out, well, it goes back and forth. Those people are correct. It does go back and forth. There are different levels of giving and taking. But ultimately, on a universal level, there's one person that has a bigger energy field, and there's one person that has a smaller energy field. And that is fixed. It's fixed in the same way that a mountain is tall. A mountain doesn't become shorter one day and taller the next day. A mountain stays a mountain. 
and then it has a relationship to the other mountains around it, either being taller than those other mountains or shorter than those other mountains. And the give or taker concept is critical to understand. It's, it's critical to understand because if you don't know which way the energy is flowing in the relationship, the relationship will start to go off the rails. Now this is something really interesting and I, I know that people, if they're hearing this for the first time, they're still wrapping their heads around it. They're not really understanding it yet. And the reason why they're not understanding it yet is because we have these subconscious blocks inside of ourselves. And these subconscious blocks, they tell us, well, one position is better than the other. I wanna be the taker. I want somebody to give to me. Or I wanna be the giver. I don't wanna accept that somebody else is gonna to give to me. And 100% of the time, where relationships go wrong is that that flow is incorrect. The, the, the giver doesn't wanna give or the taker doesn't want to take, or they have an idea that the other one is better. So if you have a relationship going wrong, it's going awry, it's because one person isn't doing their job, or both people aren't doing their job. And commonly, it's confused. The reason why that would happen in the first place is because somebody in the relationship is confused about whether they're the giver or the taker. They think they're the, they're the taller mountain, but they're actually the shorter mountain. They think they're the shorter mountain, but they're actually the taller mountain, right? And so things start to go awry. So what happens if you're, if you're the giver and you want the other person to be the giver, then you're asking them to give you things that they don't have. If you're the taker and you want the other person to be the taker, then you're asking them to, you're, you refuse to receive the energy that they are trying to give you. So it's a critical point to understand. And again, there's different levels of it. So you can have a circumstance where one person's giving and the other person's receiving, right? Somebody can give me tea. Well, they're giving me tea, I'm receiving the tea. So in that sense, the energy is flowing to me in that direction from that other person to me. But maybe in another relationship, I'm the giver, right? And so I have to give the energy and the other person takes the energy. Like on a universal level, I have the taller mountain, right? I have the bigger aura. In another relationship, somebody else has the bigger aura. I have to receive from that person, right? So it, it's, it's a, a simple concept, but it's a dualistic concept. give you this example so when Dave last night she brings some food to give to me that's what giving. environmental right giving that she, she's giving I'm taking environmental then she says I want to share some thoughts and feelings <laughs> personal. Her personal right she's telling me things I don't know about so I'm I'm taking she's giving right okay now Here's what I want you to think about the trotter come. So when she's giving me some personal information, I'm trying to absorb it on a personal level and then reflect back some higher level of meaning. Right? Mm -hmm. So in that case, I would be the... Giver. Right, but I'm, it, it, and, and for, as far as the positioning, I'd be the trotter come picture looking at the person meditating on it. Right? Mm -hmm. So that, that's how I learned how to reflect back from the Trottingham picture staring back at me. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay? Now when I'm looking at her, when she's giving me the information, I'm looking at her in the way I would look at the Trottingham picture. Mm -hmm. Follow? Mm -hmm. Trying to get to a deeper level of energy, deeper level of meaning. Mm -hmm. And what am I trying to get from her? information that improves my situation and then reflect back some kind of response energetically or verbally or thought form that that increases her what energy energy right yeah so that's the exchange system meanwhile i'm eating food on the environmental level that she gave i'm receiving information on a personal level that she's informing me about things i don't know and I'm trying to reflect back some kind of higher level. And if I do it well, and she'll say, you know, I just, it's just occurring to me now that actually what happened, you follow? Mm -hmm. That her brain now put two and two 
together to get five that's before she had four right do you, do, do you follow how it goes so uh, now the question is I'm in the relationship to do what have a bigger experience of something I want don't say myself because that that's a cliche and you'll you it'll prevent you from understanding it. it's something I want right see if I yeah sometimes I want to gain something I want to add so if I want someone negative, I'm in de my day's the wrong person because I'm not going to have a big suspicion of negativity because it's not her thing, right? So I have to figure out. So in that relationship, I was looking to have a bigger experience of. Twilight descends on the ancient city and the merry-go-round picks up speed into the night.